I was listening to an American Thought Leaders YouTube interview with a Chinese American diplomat who was saying that the Chinese Communist Party wants their Marxist Leninist system to become the global system, as if they believe we must increase and democratic capitalism must decrease. He was saying they want to destroy America. And when the interviewer asked why would they want to destroy us, he said it's just part of Marxist-Leninist doctrine. It's, it's their worldview. They have no desire for it to be a friendly competition. What they desire is total global domination. My thoughts turn to atheists and my conversations with them and their continual battering against Christianity. I wondered, why are they so intent on destroying Christianity? It comes from several places. Number one, many of them have been hurt so badly and so deeply by Christians that the hurt will never go away. They want us taken down for it. Secondly, they have seen so much stupidity in the Christian community, they cannot fathom that Christianity is fit to provide any morals or worldview. Number three, they perceive when they see the damage that certain Christians have done in the world and to people, that Christians are dangerous people. Genocide, the Crusades, and the Inquisition are the historical poster children for such things. But they even perceive Christians as against science, as hateful, judgmental, bigoted people. They see us as a danger to society getting along with each other and a danger to society progressing against bigotry in any meaningful way. Number four, in the same order of China, the Chinese Communist Party and its Marxist-Leninist foundation, I wonder if a foundational tenet of atheism is domination because it's built on secular humanism and social evolution, as well as biological evolution, which rewards domination in terms of survival as well as cooperation. And because Christians present a completely different worldview, one that is regarded as both dominating and divisive, they do not perceive us in terms of perceive of us in terms of any kind of friendly competition. Instead, they view us as a dangerous force to be subdued and eventually and ultimately eliminated. Therefore, their interactions with us are growing increasingly hostile. We see this from in the Freedom From Religion Foundation and their multiple lawsuits across the country to subdue religious expression. We see it in their attempts to reinterpret the Constitution such that the Establishment Clause is interpreted as an Elimination Clause, that all religion should be eliminated from the public square and particularly from governmental space. Number five, they also perceive themselves as the intellectuals and Christians as the anti-science, anti-intellectual, anti-evidence perpetrators of dangerous fairy tales. The appropriate response, of course, is for Christians to affirm legitimate science, to be pro-intellectual, pro-evidence, and pro-reasonable conversation. It's not so much meeting them on their turf or conforming to their ideals, but more so showing that our turf is the more rational and reasonable position. It's been my observation that atheism has no intellectual foundation to it. It's a worldview founded on negation. We need to push back against it with intellect, philosophy, reason, and science to show its vacuity. So talk to me. Let's discuss this.